Data set A consists of the heights of 75 buildings and has a mean of 32 meters. Data set B consists of the heights of 50 buildings and has a mean of 62 meters. Data set C consists of the heights of the 125 buildings from data sets A and B. What is the mean in meters of data set C? So we have a data set A that has 75 buildings and the mean is a height of 32 meters. And then we have data set B that has 50 buildings and a mean height of 62 meters. And then data set C has 125 buildings and the mean is unknown. But the buildings in data set C are from the buildings in data set A and B. So what we need to do is find the total heights of all the buildings in each of the data sets. And we can do this by multiplying the number of buildings with the mean height. Because multiplying the number of buildings with the mean height gives us the total the heights of all the buildings added together because each building has a mean height of 32. So 75 times 32 will give us the, the heights of all the buildings in data set A come added together. So 75 times 32 is equal to 2400 and then we do the same thing for data set B, where we multiply the number of buildings with their mean height to get the heights of all the buildings in data set C or B added together. So 50 times 62 is equal to 3100. So these are the total heights in both data sets all added together, 2,400 and 3,100. So when we're calculating the mean for C, mean of data set C, we would take the heights of all the buildings added together, which in this case are 2,400 plus 3,100, since this data set C is composed of the buildings in A and B. And then we would divide that by the total number of buildings, so 125. And that would give us the mean of data set C. So if we add 3,100 with 2,400 and divide that by 125, we get an answer of 44 meters. So the mean height of buildings in data set C are 44 meters.